welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I am back with another one of my monthly guinea pig hauls. So this is my third consecutive month of doing my monthly guinea pig haul videos. If you guys are interested in my one from last month, I will link it right in the i card up above. And I'll also link the playlist down in the description in case you guys are looking for all of my monthly guinea pig haul videos. You will be able to find them all right down there. For today's video, I am just going to be taking you guys through everything that I have bought in May for my three guinea pigs. So I'm going to start with the more typical monthly purchases that I made this month. So first is my bag of guinea pig food. This is the Oxbow adult guinea pig food. I believe it's the essentials kind. They also have a garden select brand. And this is the five pound bag. I usually buy one of these bags about every month for my three guinea pigs and they each get an eighth cup of pellets every single day. And then the second thing that I bought this month was just my bedding for the their litter boxes. So I combine both yesterday's news cat litter pellets and care fresh bedding for my guinea pigs and I just combine them in one big tub and mix them all together. I do this because I think the yesterday's news is a more absorbable kind of litter but the care fresh is definitely softer on their feet and so I just mix them together in my big bin and I use that in their litter boxes on, on top of a like washable puppy pad. So I put down a washable puppy pad and then my combined litter and then their hay and that's how I do their litter boxes and so far it's been working really great for me and I I think it's super absorbable and it usually lasts me an entire cage clean which is about six to seven days and then a bit more exciting purchase is this straw house that i bought so I bought this straw house at Petco in person and I actually price matched to their website and it was only about 15 or $16 where in store it's listed I think at around like 25. So if you go to Petco, always, always, always ask to price match to their website. They will always do it for you. You just have to be a member of like the Petco reward system and they will price match everything there. I always do it because everything is so much cheaper online and I was not about to pay 25, $27 for this house. But I actually have another grass house that I've had for a very long time that my girls absolutely love. But unfortunately, my biggest guinea pig, Marshmallow, outgrew the house. She can no longer fit herself into the little holes. So I bought this one, which at first I was worried about the fact that it only had one entrance. I usually try to buy hides with two entrances so the girls can't trap each other in any hides. But I figured this entrance is absolutely ginormous that they could, like two of them could like go in and out at the same time and I didn't really think it would be an issue and so far it hasn't been. They love this thing. I don't know if you can see on the back here, but they have already started to chew it up a ton. They started chewing it as soon as I put it in the cage and Marshmallow loves it. She, I'm finally so happy that she has a hide that she can actually fit into. Typically she just lays in the hay area or just underneath my loft area, just out in the open because she can't fit in a lot of the hides. And I've had to take like the, like I have this little wooden hide right here that I took the back off of that she could fit and like hang out the back and still fit in it. And I just felt so bad that she didn't have have a hide that was big enough for her to fit in all the way. Like she had places to hide. She could hide in the dark over here or in the little half figured backless wooden house or in the hay area, which is dark and has a cover over it. But I wanted to buy her something that she could comfortably fit in like her full body. And I think this was a great purchase for only $15. If you have larger guinea pigs and they like the highs that they can chew on, I highly recommend. All the guinea pigs love this, but especially Marshmallow since she can finally fit in it. And I am very, very grateful that I bought this. And then I also bought not really guinea pig supplies, but guinea pig organization. So I bought two like slide out drawers at Bed Bath & Beyond to organize my guinea pig fleece this month. And if you guys are interested in seeing the video where I show you guys all of my guinea pig organization down here, I will link it right above for you guys to watch if you are interested. And then we have the most exciting thing of every month. Every month I am like anxiously waiting for my small pet select order. And I know in my last monthly haul, I said that, whoa, I almost just dropped it. I said that I would eventually stop including this because it's the same thing every month. But I actually, I'm gonna go back on that. I don't think I'm gonna stop including this because it is arguably the best part of the month is my small pet select hay order. And I actually spent around like 15 to 20 minutes on the small pet select website, selecting like a ton of items for different auto ships. So I have my hay on auto ship every month, but then I went and chose some things to be auto shipped every eight weeks so that every other month I get like certain treats and certain forages and 
stuff like that. And I think that really was a good idea. And if you guys do auto ship hay from Small Pot Select, I recommend you go in and do that. And you can choose like two different things and have them auto ship every other month on opposite months. That way, like you get a little bit of variety, but you don't have to get the same item every month. And I did that because I love Small Pet Select and I love their auto ship option. Um, but yeah, so uh, this box contains $50 of Small Pet Select stuff that I purchased this month. So we're just gonna open it right up. It just fell over. <laughs> I'm realizing that I like don't have scissors for this. So we're just gonna have to like manhandle it open. This is not going well. In here, I have quite a few things and I'm just going to take them out, except for the 10 pound box of hay. I'm not gonna lift that out. It's just 10 pounds of Timothy hay. I order it every month. And then I also get, this is 12 ounces of orchard grass hay in addition to my 10 pounds of Timothy. I usually sprinkle this in their hay throughout the first week just to give them a little bit of variety and it's just a softer hay and I just get it for some variety. No really special reason, just for fun. And then this is what I'm excited for. I got more of these tomato flakes. So I love these, first of all, and I feature them in a lot of my videos where I'm feeding my guinea pigs. If you guys wanna see the daily routine and just how I feed them every day and all of that sort of stuff, I'll include that video right up there. And in that video, I talk about how much I love these tomato flakes. They are absolutely amazing. My guinea pigs love them. If I took them out right now, I'm sure they would literally take them from my fingers through the cage, but these are great. I don't have anything else to say about them. I hand feed them a few every morning. Sometimes I sprinkle some in their hay. Sometimes I put some in their foraging treats, just mix it up. But they also have other types of dried herbs. And I also tried the dried bell pepper flakes and they also liked those. So as you can see, Pepper, do you want one? Do you want one? Let's see if she'll stay at the, the cage for me to give her one. Pepper. <gasps> Tomato. Oh, there you go. Peanut. Let me open your little gate. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> little flakes for everybody. As you can see, they are obsessed. Marshmallow, come over here. You gotta come over here to get the flakes. Marshmallow, here you go. I don't know if you guys could see her. She was behind the little house. But they are obsessed with these. And I think hand feeding them these every morning has just really helped me build a bond with them. And I highly recommend Small Pet Select's foraging treats just like these. Like I said, you can also put them in the hay and that's also super enriching and great for them. So I recommend. And then the last thing in my Small Pet Select box is the small seagrass twist. So this is actually the first time that I have bought these. I have added these to auto ship every other month as well as the tomato flakes to be every other month. And we'll see if they like these. Come here, Pepper, come here. She's not sure. Do you like it? <gasps> Peanut, do you want one? They are so cute right now eating them. I'll have to get some clips, but it looks like they like these. So good thing that I put them on auto renew, but that is everything that I got this month so far. If I buy more stuff, I will include it in the clips after this. But yeah, that was my small pet select hay box and everything I've gotten so far this month. All right, guys, I am back with another package to open and I would show you guys it, but unfortunately they put my address on both sides of the package so I will not be showing you guys the package but I bought this adorable little strawberry house off Amazon because I have seen a lot of people like have these and I really wanted to get one all right so here it is I think it is absolutely so adorable and I am planning to do a like strawberry themed guinea pig cage because I have a lot of ideas for themed guinea pig cages and I've bought like a ton of stuff to prepare for that so be looking for that in the future but I wanted to do a little strawberry one so it has the house and the pad I'm not really sure which way the pad goes in there I guess it's sort of up to you I'm just gonna put it with the white side facing up 
and there we have it it's just a little strawberry house i know there are a lot of different ones on amazon and i will link this specific one down below but any of them will probably do and i think it's actually a really good size a lot of the other houses i have are like big like a bit too big almost but i think this is the perfect size so i will link it down below if you guys are interested and i think it's really cute i was afraid that like the shape of it like would make it look too square and not like a strawberry but i think it actually works well it looks very cute very much like a strawberry and i am definitely excited to use this in my strawberry themed cage later on and i think it is absolutely adorable thank you guys so much for watching this month's guinea pig haul video please leave a like down below if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this next month i have a huge etsy haul coming i recently just ordered about 150 dollars of guinea pig stuff off of etsy Etsy, so subscribe to see that down in the future. I promise it is coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate and love all of you, and I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. Bye!